5.1 special live stream is about to start. Now, we are ready to watch this, and we got about 25 seconds until it starts. So like, comment, subscribe if you're ready for this wonderful update. I'm actually pretty stoked on it because I like Zalonen, and I think her design is really, really cool. Don't forget to also check out Gamersubs. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off at Gamersubs.gg. We have the Pixel Cups launching, so be ready for that. Anyways, let's dive into the live stream. I will turn on the sound as soon as the thing's done with because I hate the stupid countdown stuff. There we go. Let's hear it. I've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time, and too many things can go wrong. Uh-huh. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. This is a distress signal for the Masters Ooh, of the Ooh, Satali is going to be so roaming around with us, for sure. Okay. Threatened. Heck yeah, there's a load in. Oh my god. We're already off to a rocky start here. God, she's so hot. And she sounds hot as well. And she DJs? Oh my god. Dude, she's so sick. If she's trying to finish that ancient name, there's only one place she could go. His soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. Okay. Okay, so we got a new boss. Okay. That boss is sick. Let's go. Let's go. He's got three fingers. Elden Ring boss. I'll stall the captain while you advance. Okay, so we are going to battle Capitano again. The Pyro Archon Malwika would never willingly share with you. Ororo! Hard to consider. We're gonna see Ororo this update. Let's go, dude. You have to make the decision for her here and now. A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the wolves, is doomed from the start. You presume too much. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Charge! Let's give him everything we've got. Matt Long must pay the price, and only Malika's death can clear the debt. What is going on, bro? My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. Heck yeah, she's going Super Saiyan. I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. You've experienced something similar, Malika. You should know exactly what I mean. What is that supposed to mean? Dude. Okay, that trailer actually looks freaking sick. That stuff looks sick. Okay, so we got our first code. I'll type it in chat. Okay, so that that looks good. I'm uh, I'm pretty stoked on uh, Zalonin, and I'm pretty stoked on what's gonna happen with the actual uh, um, with the actual story. So I'm pr I'm I'm pretty excited for it. I definitely want to hear more about the story. So hopefully they actually talk about it a little bit more. Like, give us some hints. Uh, there we go. That's the first Getcha code. I'm posting it also in my Getcha chat on Discord. So if you're in the Discord, get it there as well. Okay, this is going on a little bit longer than normal. Normally, it's, like, quicker. So something's up. Maybe they're just not ready yet? go it's the Hello, dino boy welcome to the genshin impact version 5.1 special program my name is gabe and i'm from the genshin impact localization team and oh I'm Kai, okay i'm also from the loc team and will be your the localization team program. huh we're usually translating genshin impact behind the scenes so it's an honor to talk about the latest update I'm pretty stoked about what's this is a weird uh one. weird totally. turn of events usually sure they do the VAs and everything but about the new update okay then let's give them what they've been waiting for first up Shilonen will be our new playable character in Shilonen okay mm -hmm. Whoa, let's see let's hear about has a lot going on Where's yeah she, she does yeah homie knows exactly what's going on profession. of course Shilonen is a famous smith from the children of echoes one of Natland's six tribes she forges all kinds of goods, like jewelry, vehicles, and weapons. You name it, and she'll make it. 
So cool. she's a blacksmith. We've already seen some of her creations, actually. Oh, really? She created the Pyro Archon sunglasses and Kachina's drill, Turbo Twirly. You'll be able to see even more of her handiwork, including the weapons of some of our new upcoming Natland characters. Wow, she's forged so many creations. <laughs> yeah, and they're all really varied. Okay. She commends so much respect in Natland, but her job Let's is Let's hear really about talented. these yeah. abilities, What's bro. What's secret? Wait, you she yapping. She's a really skilled smith, but her work mindset is the true key to her success. As she likes to say, if you overwork yourself, then your mind and body will settle the score. Yep. You can't accomplish much while you're burned out. That's why she <laughs> believes that it's important to take breaks. So what does she do during her time off? Well, for one, she likes to sunbathe in the tree branches. Dang, that's like right. an you actual cat. Before. Yeah, in the ignition teaser. Yes. But that's not her only hobby. She also likes to listen to music. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's, that's crazy. She was time, DJing. Right? Absolutely. See those earpieces in her ears? Mm -hmm. They actually connect to a record player. Cool. She made them so that she could listen to music during her work break. Oh, I didn't and even realize those were earpieces. Her that's cool, actually. Rhythm. Okay. They're pretty handy. Wow, it seems like her skill set is really convenient. Mm hmm. And as a smith, her skill set also comes in handy for exploration. Shilonen actually forged some special equipment that make it easier to get around. Let's take a look. The rollerblades. God damn. The oh, jiggle. Her Night Soul's blessing attire. Cool. Yeah. Wow. The jiggle She's physics on her. Music. Yeah. She could Brother. even stop in the middle of her climb and take in the surrounding view. That's nice. sick, actually. I okay. A lot of the inspiration that way. That is sure. sick, actually. Okay, okay. When she finds something interesting, she immediately springs into action. Just like a jaguar. Oh, <laughs> she's intense. God, Speaking I love her. Intense, Let's discuss. So this is three geoceptors for special equipment in combat too. In the party, the geoceptor will be converted to the corresponding. They look what? like gems, right? Well, those are samplers that were crafted by Shilonen herself. Okay. Oh, those are super shiny. They really suit Shilonen's design. Yeah, and their color can change. The samplers are aligned with geo by default, but their element will change when you add hydro, pyro, cryo, or electro characters to your party. For example. If Muolani is in your party, then one of Shilonen's samplers will become aligned with Hydro. And when okay. Shilonen activates that sampler, she can reduce nearby enemies' resistance to Hydro damage. Oh, okay. so she's a debuffer! Well, you activate the okay, that's sick. It's simple. When Shilonen has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then hitting enemies with her normal attacks will build up Night Soul points. When Night Soul points are at their maximum level, then all samplers will be activated. This reduces the corresponding elemental resistances of nearby enemies. Okay. okay I think I understand her kit now. Nice. Shilonen's abilities work best when there are at least two different hydro, pyro, cryo, or electro characters in your party. Once you have an optimal team, you just need to activate the Night Soul's blessing state and max out her Night Soul points. Exactly. These skills allow her to reduce multiple types of elemental resistance. Of course, Shilonen okay. also works in teams with multiple Geo characters. Okay, if so she's Shilonen's she's a multi-use type of Geo. Then her normal attacks and plunging attacks deal greater damage. Okay, of so she's good. Accumulating she's good points. as part really? of Geo Shilonen teams and as a multi-type team. Should be helpful for exploring that land. When Shilonen is in your party, triggering a Night Soul transmission with one of your party members will allow them to regain a set amount of phlogiston. Cool. Oh, Shilonen's okay. elemental burst deals AoE Geo damage, and if she has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then her burst will restore HP to active characters at set intervals. She heals right. as That's well? What we have for Shilonen's skills. Yep. Okay, then. Oh, I forgot to mention something important. What is it? Of course, we're getting the story quest. Okay. Shilonen so she's going to be cool. I'm actually excited for her. Being able to debuff and heal is fantastic. I'd love to test her out. Ancient names record that Geo is saved? Maybe. Maybe. She might be the thing that Geo has needed the entire time. Few have the honor of being recognized by past heroes, and even fewer individuals have the ability to forge ancient names. Be sure to the amount of Rule 34 that's probably on her is bonkers. Or is going to be after this update. 
And just like in version 5.0, travelers can earn extra primo gens and level up materials by completing Shilonen's Travel Dope. Chronicle during Dope. version 5.0. Thank you for the free stuff. Speaking of forging an ancient Make it name more. for the traveler, at the end of the last Archon quest, the Pyro Archon made it sound pretty difficult. <laughs> so we're getting Acts 3 yeah. and 4. The traveler okay. is an outlander. So their adventures in Netland aren't recorded in the Night Kingdom. If those deeds aren't recorded, then it's going to be pretty tricky to forge an ancient name for the traveler. I would like to test yeah. her out if no you know what I mean. No Pyro Archon said nobody's ever done it before. During the version 5.1 Archon quest, we'll have to figure out how to overcome that obstacle. We'll also get the chance to meet Sitlali from the Masters of the Night Wind. Her tribe is said to be extremely knowledgeable about the Wyub. So she might be able to turn the tides in our oh favor. Oh my god, that's of course, adorable. The Traveler's ancient name won't be the only obstacle. The threat of the abyss remains, and it seems like Auroran, a mysterious Auroran! member of the Masters of the Nightwind, is working on a secret plan. Ooh. There's so much to Dude, look Dude, he looks to. so sick, Travelers bro. can also earn extra primo gems from this He'd look better with a little bit of extra You're melanin, exactly right. but hey, you know, Just he still like looks sick. Just like in version 5.0. Travelers can earn an extra 500 Primo Gems if they complete the Natlan Archon Quest Act 3 and Act 4 during version 5.1. It should be 500 but for each one. that's but... not all. Extra rewards will also be available for exploring Natlan during version 5.1. There we 5 .1. go. Okay, Travelers buddy. Travelers earn a total of 400 extra Primo Gems by completing related 400. quests and increasing Natlan exploration progress. Travelers who already reached the required amount of progress in version 5.0. So JMO automatically gets 400 each. Version. But don't worry if you're more laid back about exploring. Or the not regions. each, but. These exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That okay. means you will have all of version 5.1. I'll still probably try and get it done as close as possible. And claim the reward. Because right now there's only Can one area that needs to be explored a little bit more. Available as the map expands in future updates. You bet. Limited time exploration rewards will be offered for all future Netland areas. Yes. Each time a new region is released, the exploration rewards will be available for two versions. Okay. So that way, more travelers should have more primos. To cool. Explore the new maps and claim those extra primo gems. That extra Each incentive for actually doing like you might even come across some opportunities you know, for exploration ex exploring during stuff. missions Thank or you. events. So you'll definitely have a ton of chances to work towards those rewards. We should give the travelers an example. No problem. In version 5.1, travelers will be able to take part in an event called Aphid Treasure Trace. Okay. They'll work together with Shilonen to track down and capture phlogiston aphids. It's not as simple as I make it sound, though. These creatures have been corroded by the abyss, which caused them to grow unnaturally large. Wow, is nothing safe from abyssal what? corrosion? Natlin's really going through a tough time. Tell me about it. Luckily, the oh, corrosion okay, I see what it is. I see what you got to do. Start by unleashing attacks with your characters, then use Shilonin's insect net to break their shields. Gotcha. The okay, that makes sense. That makes down, sense. Look at the glorious gingerbread. Hi, Pinky. Good morning. Elsewhere in that land, travelers who There's venture our new into boss. a specific underground cavern will discover a secret source automaton that was left behind by a lost civilization. The secret source constructor awaits all challengers. If you manage to beat this new boss, then you can earn special. I mean, materials. he looks cool, but I bet it is what it is. We figured that there was going to be another boss anyway. Of that automaton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's got electro okay. and pyro. We Probably introduced Geo our new character well. and the new boss. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the event wishes. There In we the go. Half of version 5.1, travelers can look forward to event wishes for Shilonen Called and it. Chiori. Called a new it. Five star sword. That sword looks so song, sick, actually. Will be featured on the weapon banner. And in the second half of version 5.1. Nahida and we'll Hu Tao. Okay, so that's why everybody was saying Hu Tao. Yes. That's why everybody was saying Hu Tao. Four star weapons will also be added to the weapon banner. That sturdy bone looks absolutely okay. sick. That looks like my dick. In them. Oh, I can't wait. But it's about <laughs> time for our first break. See you soon, travelers. See you soon. I still find it weird that it's not the VAs. All right, so I'm going to get this uh, code really quick. But, man, that uh, that looks okay. I mean, I was pretty stoked on it for a little bit. Um, But, yeah, a bunch of cool stuff coming to, like, at least. Well, I think the story overall is good, right? I think the story overall is going to be really, really good. I think that, honestly, in regards to Zalonen, 
I or Shalonen. I thought it was going to be different. I thought that Shalonen was going to be more of a DPS, but uh, it looks like she's going to be a debuff slash healer. And I think that's actually really, really good. Um, I think that she's going to be really great for Geo teams. Uh, Geo is getting a massive buff with this character. And, and that's good because Geo deserves the buff. Now, can we get some uh, cryo buffing, right? Um, but she's also like going to be universally good for multiple teams in regards to Pyro, Electro, um, and all Welcome that stuff. Back, so I'm pretty, Travis. I'm pretty stoked I'm sure on that. that. Everyone can figure out where we're at. <laughs> yep, it's Sumeru City. Things Why are, are we back at Sumeru? Festive. That's because we're celebrating Nahida's birthday in version 5.1. I still We're actually celebrating a birthday? The festival kept repeating during the Archon Quest two years ago. Nahida couldn't celebrate her birthday because the Grand Sage trapped her in the sanctuary of Sorostana. Right, and Nahida's character teaser was so sad. Especially during that third instance of, When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. The sudden change of music was so heart-wrenching. Definitely. The Traveler really helped out by exposing the Academia, and Nahida was able to earn her people's love, but we all feel like she deserves a true birthday celebration, right? So we're yeah, actually going to celebrate that. That's so, going to be sick. in the version 5.1 event, Chromatic Ooh, of Candice Ooh, we got a free Roses, Candace. Travelers will get the chance to give Nahida the birthday You should have gave, given us a free Nahida. <laughs> all right, finally. Yeah, They'll never do that. Actually, I have a few screenshots that I can share with everyone. Do you want to take a sneak peek at this Subzerus festival? Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, that's a lot of people. It looks that's, like that's five people discussing something. This year, the Ia, Academia Candace, Tainari, and Kale. It's, it's five people. Unlike any other. Think of it as a small way to make up for their past mistakes. Plus, the Traveler has teamed up with a bunch of friends from Sumeru to prepare a special surprise for Nihita. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to see her reaction. Of course, a surprise is only as good as your ability to keep it a secret. So don't give it away, travelers. The flower carriage is another important part of Subzerus Festival. This year, our Sumeru friends have created a miniature carriage to simulate the parade. That way, it can go off with. Oh, look, there's Kabe. That's so And nice Faru's on. And the traveler will serve as the knight of flowers during the real parade escorting the carriage along the route. Wow, so the Traveler is like Nahida's protector. Yeah, it looks like the Aranara are also involved. Listen, five could be a lot. If you want to learn more about this year's Subzerus Festival, including- Five is average. Surprise, Trust me, sure I know. To check out the event during version 5.1. <laughs> it's time to make some memories sweeter than candied Ajile and I think this is going to be a cutesy Travelers event. can also look forward to I think different types of gameplay during the event. Remember the parade simulator that we saw in the earlier screenshot? Travelers can take it for a spin during the event. Yay! The we get to the make the to parade. The control the direction of the carriage to avoid obstacles while gathering as many flowers as possible. Collect blessings along the way, and you'll this be is able like that to tick obtain a that, score. This is the TikTok nice. game. In the second event, in a reflection of reality and dreams, travelers will enter unique dreamscapes, search for anomalies within the dreams, and fix them. Oh, so it's like a spot the difference game. That's one of my specialties. <laughs> In the third event, Shadow of the Night's Blade, the Knight of Flowers must eradicate evil on behalf of the Dendro Archon. <laughs> Earn points by defeating as many enemies as possible within the time limit. You can even increase your performance level and earn buffs by satisfying special conditions during the challenge. Ah, uh, this should be a breeze for the Knight of Flowers. Bring it on. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Looks like someone's excited for the Subzerus Festival. The Lonin's gonna be sick. I, I can't wait to try her out. Way. Hey, I'm sure they will. In addition to Nahida's birthday celebration, version 5.1 offers a random YouTube ads game. Events. Oh man, bummer. In Feast of Pursuit, travelers will be able to earn rewards by completing various challenges. They can even choose their own difficulty setting. Oh, cool. Each challenge comes with unique buffs. Not playing Use steadfast, not my, not my player. As quickly as possible. Not my player. You'll find tougher enemies at higher difficulty levels. In Reminiscent Regimen Thrill, travelers will team up with each other in co-op to tackle a challenge with four random stages. Each challenge will feature different reminiscent reinforcements. Selecting a character that fits the reinforcements featured in each stage will make it easier to complete. Listen. Each player can choose a strengthening buff before entering a stage. Listen. You can give your team an These advantage guys by are sucking the life out of me, bro. Stage design. 
It's all about optimizing No offense, Hoyoverse. <laughs> Absolutely. But After the voice the actors, at least, will earn even the fake, like, hypeness Be worked sure to well. Gather thrilling stars if you want to claim the corresponding rewards. New Infosage Stack Host challenges will also be added in version 5.1. Ooh, okay, okay. Travelers will now be able to obtain Echoes for Zhongli and Keqing. Whoa, Zhongli! Zhongli's echo is really cool. That is kind of cool. echo is also beautiful. Okay, Keqing's is the better one. Flowers behind her. <laughs> Whoa, save some excitement for our other updates. During version 5.1, a few familiar faces will also be added to Genius Invocation TCG. I don't Travelers care. Travelers can look forward to new character cards, monster cards, and action cards. Cool. I'm glad version they keep updating it for the people that actually like Genius Invocation, events. but God. There's even the Aphid Treasure Trace event that we introduced at the beginning of the program. That's not all. There's an old friend we haven't seen in a while. Wait, do you mean... That's right. Lieben will be back in Lieben! version 1. Just like always. That's my homie! Items for That's my dude! I even heard that Natland specific materials will be available during his latest visit. Awesome. That should be Let's all go. for the version 5.1 events. That means all it's events. about time for our second break. You okay. Got it. We'll be right Is this back going hours. really fast? This is going really fast. Okay. So it feels like there's a lot of yapping, which is true. There is a lot of yapping, but yeah. So the events are okay. Honestly, the events, nothing to write home about. Nothing to write home about. I think that the events are below average. I think that honestly, the events are below average, except for the Nahida event, just for the fact of why we're doing the Nahida event. Um, but otherwise, everything like overall just seems kind of meh, you know? We still haven't gotten if we're getting Gift of Odyssey, which we'll probably talk about. We don't know about which double events stuff we're getting. So if it's going to be traces or not traces, if it's going to be ley lines, if it's going to be relics, anything like that. So hopefully they hurry up and tell us. Let's Welcome see. back, travelers. It's Spiral time to Abyss. Jump into the system optimizations. First up, a skip feature will be added to the Spiral Abyss. This change allows you to skip floor 9 in the new update if you obtain full stars on floor 11 of the previous Spiral Abyss. Obtaining full stars on floor 12 will allow you to skip both floor 9 and floor 10. Hopefully, this change Thank will you. create a smoother experience. That Makes it that so much convenient. faster. Yeah, I know, right? That much faster. Just as a reminder, the Primo Gem rewards from the skipped floors will need to be claimed manually. But floor rewards such as domain reliquaries will be distributed automatically when you Bravo open the for making it so much faster place. for me to get that shit In done. In addition, you can now open multiple domain reliquaries at once. Nice. We don't have to keep opening them one by one. Yeah. Continue with Thank floor you. optimizations. The filtering and sorting logic of the character artifact interface has been improved. The system will now remember your artifact set filters so that you don't have to set them every single time. You can Thank also you. sort by affix for an individual artifact slot. Those preferences will also be saved. That will make it a lot Bravo. easier. Bravo! Good job. It, finally, it took you four totally. years to do the that. Let's go. The ascension mechanics will also be optimized in version 5.1. You can now see the craftable amount of certain materials directly in your inventory. A okay. feature will also be added to the crafting bench that allows you to filter recipes by character ascension goals. This will allow you to easily view and craft the number That's of materials good. that you need. That's now, good, actually. You don't have to calculate the required materials and Thank quantities you. in advance. You can do all of that at the crafting bench. Thank you. Version 5.1 will also be adding other small optimizations. Like? Be sure to check out future announcements for more information. All right, travelers. Some of you might have already noticed, but Genshin Impact turns four years old tomorrow. Yep. We've had an incredible journey so far, right? Let's see where this path has taken us. It's time to relive some amazing memories. Let's do it. Okay. Tra uh, trailer? Of some sort? Ooh! Animation? Hey, yo, this looks so good. But where's my Genshin anime?
Passing Memories. So we're literally just looking through everything that happened. I don't know if I'm allowed I don't I think this might be copyright so I think I'm gonna pause it I'm gonna go ahead and mute it just because I don't know if it's copyright right well actually no we should be fine oh god that's loud we should be fine we should be fine because we're we're doing transformative content so we're fine Transform the little car. Transform it, baby. We had to turn it down just a little bit. I mean, this is cool, but. Yeah. Don't be too surprised. About what? At least Paimon isn't talking on the recap. That's fair, but. It's like, but what? what is this? Like, it's just a, a package for like, hey, this is what we've done. That's cool. This is just this. That's what it feels like. Like, it's just going through everything that's happened. And I'm like, okay, cool. It's cool to get a recap. But what's the point of it? Some of these cutscenes were badass, though. I will say that. Some of these cutscenes were absolutely badass. Oh, that made me cry so hard, bro. Don't bring that back up. Fighting all the monsters. Yeah, let's go, cocky Aether. Here's to four years of Genshin Impact. Hey, happy birthday. <laughs> wow, it's already been four years. Where's the time gone? It uh, really it brings went back to this so game. Many memories when I see all those scenes. There's that fight against Storm Terror. The battle See, it's the working. Chamber, I mean, it, it was just saying goodbye to Greater Lord Ruka Devada. I mean, like overall, it's like, I yeah, know. it's cool, yeah, but have that song on repeat. all they're gonna say is, that "Hey, we're giving the an with the Natland we're gonna be performance. giving the anniversary uh, like rewards, is which is the same that rewards that they already announced in the OST previous update." Album, Land of Play Ayatol, is about to be released. The album contains three discs featuring seventy original tracks composed for Genshin <laughs> Impact. Yay, we can finally add Natlan's regional soundtrack to our playlist. Yippee. Yeah. All right. No um, gift of Odyssey? That looks like all the information we have to share. Wow. That means it's time for the special program to come to an end. 
no gift of odyssey no me? announcements of double yeah, for sure rewards but of stuff I think there's so much cool content coming in this version and hey wow. come on, fourth anniversary that's so huge wow yeah. i mean we've put so that's much actually disappointing years, every version has been special but i gotta say 5.0 5.1 these have been great exactly i mean seriously genshin impact is is not only a game to me is my work mm. is my life Right. I play Genshin Impact every day. I talk about it. Genshin yeah, Impact bro. Every day. I play it every and day too. But players online. Come it's on. All these years. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Totally. Totally. So if I have to say something this time, we are truly, truly grateful that you guys, our players, are continue playing this game. And they gave us extra anniversary as rewards. As you guys. For what's coming only next because of the fact yeah that they no, didn't want to totally give anything agree. this update That's so great well <laughs> unfortunately it's time for us to say goodbye once again thank you so much for no gift of odyssey huh these past four years Hope to that, is, game. that is that is crazy is that really it there ain't no way that's really it Are you serious, bro? There is no shot that that's it. Wow. Okay. Okay, Gudgeon. They literally always sidestep shit. Absolutely. So let's recap a little bit of what happened. So first things first, Z Zalonen looks absolutely sick. She's hot. Her abilities are really, really good. She's able to de uh, debuff the enemy with certain elements like pyro, electro, hydro. Uh, and I think the other one was cryo for sure. Or no, dendro. It was dendro. So cryo getting no love. 100%. Um, so Jelonen looks really, really good. The banners are looking pretty decent. I called Chiori. Uh, Nahida was a good call. Nahida was there. Uh, Hu Tao getting a rerun. Um, I think that's cool. But at the same time, I'm like, Hu Tao, as much as I love Hu Tao, right? I love Hu to Hu Tao. Um, we need to figure out the banner stuff. We have, I think, over 70 characters now. We need to figure out these reruns a little bit better. <laughs> so um banners are good though all all three rerun characters are good so it's not like it's bad story is going to be looking really really good we're going to see more capitano we're going to see aurora um a lot of big implications it looks like is coming um so i'm pretty stoked on that we're getting a uh character story quest for jelonen which is pretty standard events mid sorry to say the events look like dog water. Um, honestly, it is what it is. The events are normally pretty mid for Genshin Impact anyway. However, the thing that irritates me the most. Outside, like, okay, so before I get to that, optimizations are good. The optimizations that they're putting into place are really, really good. I don't want it to be, ta I don't want anything to be taken away badly from that because the optimizations are actually good. Being able to filter and save presets of what you're doing for each individual character is huge. Makes it much easier for you to not have to worry about finding stuff for your characters every single time. Fantastic. Love that. Um, however, no gift of Odyssey. No double reward events. At least not announced here. And that is disappointing. This has got to be, in my personal opinion, one of the worst update live streams that we've done. And it, it, again, this isn't to the people who were actually speaking. Big shout out to them, you know, the two presenters. But they didn't really have a lot of excitement, obviously, because this isn't normally their forte. VAs can, like, pretend that they're excited and all this other stuff. So there's that. 
we got a trailer, not a trailer, but we got a video that went over all this stuff. And then all of a sudden a random fire at the end, uh, helped Aether, you know, survive or whatever, but I don't know. Um, it's just weird, man. This update live stream was really dog water in my personal opinion. This was the, one of the worst ones. Um, Again, not to say that there's nothing coming to Genshin that's good. Jelonen looks good. The story looks good. The optimizations are pretty good. And the events suck. But I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm really glad I pulled back on spending on Genshin Impact. <laughs> so anyways, to everybody watching this video on YouTube, make sure to let me know what you think about the update, are you excited for it? Do you think Geo is saved with Shalonen? Do you think that, you know, the events are actually really, really good? And do you think that Genshin uh, is going to drown and no free summons? Yeah, it's kind of weird. So, anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out Gamer Subs. Use code Tyster for 10% off. Pixel Cup launching later today. Thank you so much. Love you to death. And as always, we'll catch you in that next video. Please take care and be safe.